Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross watching, welcome to your tarot messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is meant for you in the near future. So, what's destined for you? Um, who or what is coming towards you? We'll go ahead and see what messages the cards reveal. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below the video. There's a, a possible reconciliation or reconnection here from the past. Something feels like you're not done yet. You're not done with a certain person, with a certain situation here. It just feels like it's not finished yet. There's still some unresolved emotions. Um, yeah, there's some complications, but I feel like you guys aren't done yet. There's... <clears throat> The foundational structure of something here might have eroded a little bit, um, but I feel like there's a, there's a chance, there's a chance for you to take a look at this situation, whether it's a romantic connection, whether it's a business associate, whether it's a friendship of some sort, or, you know, a situation, you know what this is for you, something that has fallen apart, something that has, you know, maybe um, collapsed in some way, something that has ended for you. It's something that you still have ties to, though. I feel like, and the reason being, I feel like, is that this person may be in your destiny, or this very thing may be in your destiny, or they seem to be playing some sort of helpful role for you, um, some instrumental role for you that might lead you to your destiny here. So they might not be the very person that you could end up with, but there may be, um, maybe you guys, you know, you need closure with a person. Okay, you need to sort out some stuff with this individual so you can close the chapter. So then you can move forward onto a new love, you know, so you can invite a new romantic energy and you have the space in both your heart and your physical space in your life to do so. Okay, so maybe that's what it means for some of you. But I feel like there is something here from the part. And for others of you, maybe this is a person that you are going to end up with. You are destined to end up with. You've had a few hiccups. You've had a few challenges. Um, with this very person in this romantic situation but I feel like it's not done yet and this person may just be your destiny or may play a very instrumental role in your destiny I feel like there's a lot of beginnings okay I feel like there's a lot of transitions as well that I see for you like you're, you're transitioning from one chapter to another okay from one connection to another from one opportunity to another it just feels like um you know, there's a lot of, I see that there's a lot of endings coming up for you. Um, you know, one relationship may have ended, a business opportunity might have, or a contract might have ceased up. I feel like, you know, or even friendships might have ended. I feel like there's a lot of endings for you, but don't go chasing anyone or anything because I feel like it's important for you to know that, you know, whatever it is that's ending for you is doing so for a reason. It's actually doing you a big favor, whether you realize it or not, because ultimately it's, you know, the people that no longer can contribute to your growth or your life in a positive way are going to ultimately see themselves out. Okay. The people that you outgrew, the situations that you outgrew, um, you know, you need to move on. And sometimes it might be difficult for you to make that decision. This is why the universe comes along and helps you out by removing those very people, those very situations from your life because they might be toxic, they might be unhealthy 
or they just may have done everything that they're supposed to do okay there's nothing in it that this person there's just nothing more this person um you know can give you so the universe you know does you a favor by removing people removing situations from your life so don't go chasing because although it may seem you know some endings may seem uncomfortable painful even volatile it's for a reason it's because you know the very thing that's ended for you has ultimately created space in your life um, for new opportunities or for new connections speaking of opportunities you do have a lot of opportunities that I feel like are coming your way but I also feel like you're going to have some challenges that might arise with some of these opportunities I feel like there's major changes that are happening in your life but I feel like you can't resist these changes there are major changes that ultimately I feel like are trying to make you know trying to transition you from onto the next chapter or onto the next cycle or phase of your life um, and typically these changes do come in the form of you know ten of swords and death card does imply an ending so possibly the ending of a relationship or romantic interest the ending of a job or a career the ending of uh, a situation a friendship or whatever it is for you Death is about, you know, endings and new beginnings, you know, death and rebirth. It's this change and transformation. It is one of the most positive cards in the, um, in the deck because I feel like, you know, there's a whole future, there's a whole destiny that uh, awaits you guys, but in order to embrace those opportunities and in order to embrace destiny and embrace you know new love and new possibilities and new connections you have to let go of the past and only once you let go of your past okay so past loves past hurt past resentments past mistakes you know what it is you're holding on to whatever it is it's something that you might not be aware of it okay because the suit of cups rules the emotional realm it could be something you're holding on to unintentionally it could be subconsciously as well so once you figure out what it is and once you let go of the past and i know you know it's not easy it can be difficult to do so um but you know once you let go you will soon see just how important it was for you to do so because that's going to bring with it the promise of renewal and the promise of transformation for you so if you resist these endings, okay, if you chase and if you resist and you offer pushback, you're going to experience pain. Pain that is emotional, pain that is physical, um, or pain that is uh, spiritual. So make sure that you don't resist, but you embrace these changes, these transformation and transitionings that are happening for you. And in order to bring in the new, you have to clear out the old, because I feel like there's a lot of positive a lot of cleansing a lot of welcoming opportunities possibilities uh, romantic connections okay um, there are a lot of possibilities that are going to be presented to you or may already be presented to you that I feel like are going to open up the door to a much more happier much more satisfying and opportunistic life but you need to be able to welcome that So a lot of massive changes that I feel like are bringing in some very unexpected surprises and that are going to create a lot of unexpected opportunities and advantages for you. But I feel like it's time you need to let go of any unhealthy attachments. You do. You need to let go of unhealthy attachments or let go of anything that you've simply outgrown. Okay, because... If you hold on to whatever it is that you've outgrown, you know what you'll be doing? You'll only be shrinking yourself. Okay, so right now try and, especially High Priestess in reverse, try and, try and be still. Try and, some of you may be a little bit disconnected from your intuition or 
disconnected from who it is that you are okay and you know when that happens you experience you have emotional experiences that aren't pleasant you know that aren't in alignment here so high priestess in reverse is you venturing you know you sitting still with yourself and you venturing deep into your subconscious mind and accessing your inner wisdom your inner dialogue here okay so it's time to get quiet and it's time to focus on what you need to do okay time to focus on you and what's right for you so some of you if you especially if you've been struggling to trust your intuition or if you've been doubting yourself if you've been feeling guilty um you know pay attention to that pay attention to that pay attention to those feelings because what you're essentially doing is possibly denying yourself the ability to tune into your subconscious mind and receive some very powerful and potent information about your destiny because there's a whole new world a whole new beginning a whole new chapter a whole new relationship a whole new love a whole new career a whole new dream that awaits for you but i think you're blocking yourself because whether you're aware of it or not i feel like you're scared to take this chance or you're scared that you know you don't deserve it or whatever it is that you're feeling so your intuition is your superpower okay let it guide you all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye